Hey Kids Church friends, Miss Katie here. It's been a while since I've been on our Kids Church video. I'm glad to see you this morning. So part of the reason I haven't been here in a while is this summer, our family took a big road trip. We drove way, 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 way far away to Utah and spent two weeks in Utah driving our car all over, seeing amazing cool things and hiking big mountains and uh, swimming in rivers. It was so fun. Now, when you go on a big road trip, there are some things that you need to take with you. One of those things is a map. A lot of us use our phone for maps, but sometimes we didn't have cell phone reception, so we had to use our paper map. We've got this big book that has lots and lots of maps in it to help us know exactly where to go and how to get there. Also, when we're driving along, we have to pay attention to signs on the road that help us know how fast we can go or if there's gonna be an obstacle up ahead that we have to look for, or if the road is closed and we have to turn another way. Uh, there were a lot of times we saw signs that said, watch out for cows, and believe it or not, we would see a cow on the road and we would have to slow down or stop and wait for the cow to cross the road. So the signs helped us know exactly what we needed to look for. So over the next month, we are going to go on a road trip together in Kids Church. We are gonna imagine that we are on a road trip just like God's people, they went on a big trip. And on this trip, they discovered the Ten Commandments. Now, the Ten Commandments, that's like a fancy name for rules. These are the rules that God wanted his people to live by. So we are going to imagine that we are on this road trip and we are going to learn all about God's rules. Our first stop on this road trip is a place called Mount Sinai. And in this story, God is speaking to Moses, who is up on the very, very tippy top peak of Mount Sinai. He hiked mountains too, just like Team Evans did on our road trip. So he went up to the mountain to hear from God about the ways that God wanted his people to live. And today we're going to look at the first two rules. So we're going to read from Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 and 4. If you have a Bible at home, you can read along. Let's read. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. So the first commandment that God gave to Moses was to not have any other gods before the one true God. Or in other words, always put God first. The second was similar. Don't worship idols. Idols are the kind of things that people might pay more attention to than pay attention to God. So the Ten Commandments help us to live the life that God wants us to live. If we believe in God, we should always put God first. And that means that no one or anything else should be more important to us than God. Okay, so that is our first big road sign. We obey God by putting God first. Hi there, you chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl, and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, I have some good news, kids. I'm going on a road trip. That's right, I'm ready to face any challenge that's foolish enough to face me. I will travel across this country, driving hundreds, nay thousands, nay millions of miles. I will discover every nook and cranny of this nation. I will study every state and tackle every town. I vow to drive across the US of A, using only what's in my backpack and only what's in my heart. <laughs> oh, we're getting a call. DJ! Carl, my man. What's going on, man? It's going great, TJ. Things couldn't be going any better. I actually have some good news. Well, what is it? Guess. Nah, I'm not really good at guessing. Come on, guess. Okay, um, you learned how to swim? No way. I'm a few months away from that. You found that thing you were looking for, huh? My glasses? Nope. Still have no idea where I put them. Uh, man, I, I really don't know. What is it? Well, TJ. <laughs> I'm going on a road trip. Whoa, really? Oh, where are you going? All over. I'm going to be driving across the whole country. <laughs> it's going to be marvelous. You're going to be driving? Sure am. I get everything I need for my road trip. <laughs> right here in my backpack. Really? Everything? Yep, everything plus some. Want me to go through my packing checklist? Sure. Okay. 
Let's see. Sleeping bag, tent, scalpel, band-aids, boots, red boots, water boots, goldfish for a snack, goldfish as a pet, deer antlers, a belt, water balloons, turtle food, oranges, an orange juice making machine, a blender, 30 boxes of cereal, 50 pounds of chicken nuggets, flip-flops, even though I don't like wearing flip-flops, <laughs> fanny pack, sweaters, more sweaters, a ton of sweaters, a ton of sweaters, and that's it. TJ. Oh yeah, that, that's everything, huh? That's, wow. That's a lot, Carl, okay. Yep, that's everything. So you don't think driving in a car that much won't bother you? Come again? You know, being in a car that long, driving all over the country, you think you're gonna be okay with that? Oh no. What? Carl, Carl. Oh no, 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 no. I just realized something. Okay. <sighs> I forgot my car keys. What, can't, speak up, Carl, I can't hear you. What'd you say? I don't have my car keys, TJ. Carl, you don't have a car? No, TJ, I said my car keys. Man, this is upsetting. How could I forget something that important? This car can't move without car keys. Well, I think there's a lesson in all of this, Carl. What? Do you know what the Ten Commandments are? The Ten Can Mints? Like Altoids? <laughs> no, the Ten Commandments. You see, a long time ago, God was helping Moses lead the Israelite people through a desert and on their way to the Promised Land. Yeah, after God saved them from Egypt. Right. Well, God wanted to talk to Moses. So Moses went up on a mountain called Mount Sinai to talk to God. Wow, that's incredible. What happened when he was up there? Well, Moses was told 10 commandments. Commandments are like rules, but much, much more important. Interesting. So what's so important that God had to tell Moses? Well, like I said, God gave Moses 10 commandments, but the first two were very unique. What were they? Well, Carl, let me read them for you real quick. The first commandment is, you shall have no other gods before me. And the second commandment is, you shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the water under the earth. So essentially the first commandments are, don't put anything before God. And then the second is to worship only God. You got it, man. But why did God need to make those into commandments? They seem pretty obvious to me. You would think so. But the Israelites often forgot about God, but they would often complain about things instead of thanking God for rescuing them from Egypt in the first place. So God gave them these rules so that they would always remember God, no matter what they were going through? Yeah, but not only remember God, to make God priority, to make him number one. And the best way to do this is to obey God. And we obey God when we put God first. Huh, holy moly, that sounds like a big idea. Today's big idea is we obey God by putting God first. That's right, Carl. So we'll say it out loud together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We obey God by putting God first. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. Good job, everyone. So, Carl. Yeah, TJ? Just like we should put God first, you should probably put the most important things first when you're planning a trip, right? Like making sure you have a... A pair of sunglasses, so if you're having a bad day, you can just throw them on, and then you'll be having a bad night, and the day will almost be over with. <laughs> the more I know, kids. Oh, hey. Found my car keys. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, kids, we'll talk to y'all next week. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Okay, I have linked a printable map that you guys can decorate. I want you to decorate your map, make it however you want it to look. After you decorate your map, I want you to write a prayer to God on the map or on the back of the map, asking God to help you learn how to put God first. Okay, friends, thanks for going on this road trip with me today. Let's close in prayer, and then you can have some time to discuss and reflect with your family. Let's pray. Dear God, your love inspires us to love you and choose you over everything else. When we want to choose another way, remind us to stay with you. Help us to make wise choices with our time, our money, and our words. Amen. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great week. I will see you again next week. Bye.